this is Kato Place, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to make a super simple honeycomb farm that can also double up as a, well, you can change it into a honey bottle farm in PS4 edition, in the PS4 edition of Minecraft. So, if you're looking forward to that, then please make sure to drop a like on the video, and if you're at all new, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's get into things. So... Recently, Minecraft PS4 has updated to Bedrock, and I thought I'd show you a little tutorial on how this kind of farm would work. So, all you need to do is, we have a little setup here where we have a grass block with a flower on top, encased in a glass box. Now, we, in order to make this farm work, you need to have a beehive, and you preferably have one, maybe two or three bees that you need to trap inside this space. Now, in creative, it's really easy to just place the bee down in there, but in survival, this would be definitely a little harder. But anyway, we have this beehive here. Then we have a comparator running out of it. Uh, it can be in regular mode. And all this does is counts up how much honeycomb, or rather, how filled up this hive is. And when it gets to five, that means that our dispenser here can use shears on it and can make it drop three honeycomb. So, from this so far, I've been able to gather 15 honeycomb, and yeah. When the dispenser shears it, it's collected by this minecart with hopper underneath, and it's fed by these hoppers into this chest. So it's really simple. And if you wanted to turn it into a um, honey bottle farm, oh, sorry, in the dispenser also, there is um, a, pair, well, a couple of pairs of shears. And if you wanted to turn it into a honey bottle farm, all you need to do is add a hopper with a chest, fill this chest up with honey bottles, and this dispenser would use it on the beehive. But anyway, let's show you how to make this really quickly. So, I'm going to start off, first of all, with a collection chest. Just put this down here. Then we need a hopper like this, and another running into that. Then, up here, you're going to want a grass block with a blue orchid on top, or rather, any flower you like. Then on this hopper, we want a powered rail. It could be any rail. It's just a powered rail helps to keep the minecart with hopper in place better. So we're going to put the minecart with hopper there. Then on top of this, we're going to want a beehive, and the beehive has to be facing towards the flower so before we place it I'm just going to put a few blocks up and then there you go you can see this little slot is facing towards the flower which is what we want then we're going to encase the flower inside of glass blocks or any blocks you like it's just I like to use glass blocks so you can actually see the flower and see when the bees come out anyway next we're going to break away some of these blocks and place a comparator here this which will detect how full the uh, beehive is. Then you're going to want to place one, two blocks up, or well, sorry, three blocks up, and one, two, three, four blocks down here. Then we're going to grab ourselves some redstone uh, repeaters and dispensers, and I can just put those in my hotbar. So we want one, two, three, four, five dots of redstone and a block here to separate the two lines and then we want a repeater running into this block and so we can destroy that block now we don't need it anymore and finally we're going to place our dispenser right in here and then we can either fill that in with shears or bottles depending on what we want to get so it's really that simple guys uh, it did take me a while to figure out but yeah it really is that simple it'll get you a decent amount of honeycomb but you will have to spend long times at it uh, to be able to get that much. But as you can see, we've already got three honeycomb since I started the video. So it is quite an efficient farm. And the thing is, you can also, uh, you can scale this up. So we can have one, two, three. Uh, we can have a couple of hoppers out here. And we can start building it all over again. So it's a really simple design that can easily scale. It just requires quite a few hoppers and uh, mine got up so you will need quite a bit of iron if you want to make this uh, into a large-scale farm. Uh, but anyway guys, that's all I have had to say for today. 
Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, then please make sure to leave a like on it. And if you're at all new to the channel, then please make sure to subscribe. But thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!